Here's a quick demo for Layer Renamer for Photoshop to show you some ways it can be useful in a real project. I'd recommend using this plugin in conjunction with Generate Assets which is built into Photoshop. You just need to enable Generate Assets in your actual file. So to get started, let's open a file and it's for some display ads. And you'll see I've got my layers panel here. When you first install it, you'd go plugin, layer renamer for Photoshop, uh, the plugin installed. So the first step is to enable generate assets. And you can do this by going file, generate image assets. Now, nothing happens on screen, but if you go back to your file, you will see that an assets folder gets automatically created in the same location as your file. If you go into this assets folder, there normally wouldn't be anything in here, um, but you can see we have this computer image and an errors file. And this is because the artwork that I've imported already has some layers that have a JPEG extension. So here, right, this computer image, if I switch it off and on, has been brought in from another file when the artwork was being created and it has a JPEG extension. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove unwanted file extensions and you can do this with the plugin. So you can select, uh, I can click remove file extensions. I can command click another layer of interest, do the same thing. And there's another one here. So computer, I can remove extensions. So if I save this, and go back to my assets folder, you can see there's nothing in there now. Right, so the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do in this example is create some preset buttons as I need to name the text for each of these different variations with the same name. I don't wanna to have to type it more than once. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have text one. You could either press add or you can press return to add these. I'm gonna have text two. I know I need device. And I know this is gonna have a logo. So I'm gonna add these presets. So the first thing I can do is I could go to this computer layer and I could press device PNG. And you'll see it's changed here. And what that will do, if I go back to my assets folder, is you'll see straight away that's been exported into my assets folder. And this is the whole point of using this plugin with Generate Assets. So I'll quickly go through and show how I would use this in a real project. Uh, for this particular image, I also want to make sure that all the assets for this particular creative go into a folder that says 160 by 600. So what I would do here is I'll set a prefix. I'll do this here. And now if I have my layer selected and I click device, you'll see that this prefix also gets applied to the layer name go back into your assets folder, you'll also see now that everything is being put into a folder, right? So what I'll do, go through and name these. So this is gonna be text one, text two, and the logo is going to be logo. Save, go into my folder, and you'll see they all just populate. So now I have all those images in a folder. A tip, if you have text and you want to export it as a PNG and you want to maintain its position in the artboard, all you need to do is apply a mask and you could do that down here. When we save, it will automatically get exported in the background and now my text is the same size as the artboard. The next thing to show is that you can also rename your artboards. So another useful thing is say you just wanted to export all of these artboards. You can select one, press JPEG, select another one, press JPEG, select another one, press JPEG, and you'll see that these are now being exported in the folder as well. If you wanted to modify some of these artboards, you wanted to append something at the front of them, you can also do that by selecting the artboard and say I do 50% space and add, you will see that's been appended here. Go here, add it. And what that will do is it will export those particular frames at 50% of their default size. So that's one way you can use the uh, add to layer name settings. Um, everything else should be self-explanatory. To delete presets, you can select edit presets and go through and delete if you don't need them anymore, or you made a typo or whatnot, if you untick that, that now becomes ready to use again. One thing to mention is if you need to rename multiple artboards at the same time, you wanna avoid selecting two artboards and then applying something because it will apply to all the sub layers underneath it as well. 
here I've got two artboards selected say I press this PNG button it's going to want to apply it to all the sub layers underneath as well so if that's not what you want to happen then select one artboard at a time if you did make a mistake like this you could easily select those layers and press file remove extensions um, but beyond that that should be all you need to get going any feedback or feature suggestions let me know by leaving a review and comment on the Adobe Marketplace or in the YouTube comments. Happy renaming.